And those are the starting lineups. So kick back, get your popcorn ready. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome. We're ready to get the week off to a great start. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. Allie LaForce will be our reporter from the sideline. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. Williams and Vucevic patrol the inside. Levine is the two with DeRozan at the three. And it's White in at the one. And for the Heat, Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Martin at power forward with Adebayo as the center. And it's Lowry in at the point. The NBA season just getting going. Fall is coming in full force. Grant, there's nothing quite like this time of year. It's the go. best time of the year. And I'm chomping at the bit. I mean, every fan is excited and, of course, optimistic. You know, fans all over are excited to see the new faces on their team. So nothing can beat some good old basketball in the fall. Here's Martin. And it's good. Two points. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. Levine finds White. And no good. And Lowry with the defensive effort. And it's Miami's ball. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Chicago. You beat them up pretty bad last season, despite being pretty close in the standings. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. And here are the Bulls now. After the basket by Miami. Vucevic in the post. Counted by Adebayo. Vucevic's shot is off. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. Well, Grant, the pace that the Heat like to play is a little slower compared to other teams. Yeah, B.A., more methodical, definitely. They don't just jack up shots and run quick plays. They're very patient, and they look for the best scoring option. Oh, it's almost scary watching Autobio throw it down. Incredible natural power. DeRozan against Butler. Pass to Vucevic. Misses the three. A cold start for them. Three shots, three misses. Good thing it's early. And here's Butler. Thirteen feet out. And he drops that one in. Butler's got his second bucket of the night. And adding to this lead right now. Riding a wave of momentum. Yeah, they've locked in during this stretch. If they keep it up, their lead will only continue to grow. Now here's DeRozan. His last outing, he had 20. 146 left in the first. Left side, Butler. Pass to Adebayo. And finished off by Adebayo. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. They came out swinging, time out, time really out. setting the tone on offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Richard, an interesting trend with this Chicago team. Their conservative three-point shooting. Yeah, the Bulls hover around the bottom of the league for total attempts, B.A., which definitely separates them for the rest of the NBA.
A big group substitution here for Miami. Bryant, he's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Love comes in for Martin. Robinson, he's checked in for Butler. And Richardson subbed in for Hero. Down low. Carter against Lowry. Outside Carter. Caruso finds Drummond to end the run. It's hauled in by the Heat. You love to see guys challenge one another like that. Advantage to the defense that time. Here's Richardson. Here's Bryant. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Pass to Carter. Here's the Sumu. Six to shoot. Up and over Richardson. And again, Chicago no good. Probably not the shot they had in mind. But you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. And he drops the first. Both good from the line that time. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Carter, the pass to Caruso. To stop the drought. And the layup is good. At last, their cold streak is over. They finally found something that worked. <laughs> yeah, the lid's now off, guys. Maybe they can rattle off a few more in a quick order. To the middle. Two on the clock. And it's Love laying it in. Really taking charge of the game. Largely with a detailed interior attack. Yeah, they haven't appeared in a rush at all. They are just playing to their strengths and building this lead out well. And so it's Miami up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. They put in work down low, getting in close and scoring in bunches. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And quite a position here for the Heat to be in. What do you guys think? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge too. And we heard some coaches saying the league punishes retaliation. And that might even encourage players to instigate. Grant, you think he's got a point? You know, B.A., I think he does. I mean, if guys are creating a dust-up to try to get opposing star players thrown out, the officials cannot reward that. Martin at power forward with Adebayo as the center. Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. And it's Lowry in at the point. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Hero with the bucket. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. White, the pass to DeRozan. Pass to Levine. Down to five on the shot clock. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Bam out of bio. A springing athlete. Everybody knows about Levine and his bounce. He's just hard to check. And look, he was fouled right there. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. 
the scoring breakdown for the Heat. I've really been impressed with how aggressive they've been inside, looking to capitalize from the paint whenever they can. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. And always a fan favorite, Richard, Zach Levine. Most everything he does, it seems to have a little bit of flash to it. You know about the bounce. He has a high arcing shot, and he just has a flair for the dramatic and spectacular. And he's good on the second. You know, the Bulls got a really bad break the last two seasons with Lonzo Ball's health. Well, B.A., I mean, he's a tremendous floor general. So talented. And to lose somebody like that for any team, it's a hard situation to overcome. Martin, the pass to Adebayo. And here's Lowry from the arc. DeRozan with the rebound. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Pass to Levine. Now here's White. From 11 feet away, and it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. White's got his first two points of the night. Lowry surveys the D. Adebayo passes to Butler. From 12 feet, Jimmy Butler. So smooth inside. Putting his body to work in the paint. Butler using his athletic skills to get it done. Pass to DeRozan. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Okay, when you let someone with this height get this close, it's going to be nearly impossible to stop, especially when he has that big of an advantage in this category. Now here's Lowry. Yet to see a basket. Back to Hero. And it's Chicago with a board. Got a good look there, but just not able to hit from the mid-range. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, talking about his all-star wing, Coach Eric Spolster said, it's hard to describe Jimmy Butler until you actually feel him between the four lines. He is a supreme elite competitor, one of the ultimate competitors in his profession. His only focus is about driving a team to win. All other things are irrelevant. B.A.? Yeah, that's a great point. Thanks, Allie. Inside, Bam really doesn't hold back. He takes his shot right through the foul. And grant the resiliency and determination of the Heat not to be underestimated. Well, B.A., last season became just the second eighth seed in NBA history to advance to the finals. And Jimmy Butler said it. We don't care if you pick us to win. We never have. We never will. That free throw, no good. And Grant, a positive for the Bulls over the last few seasons. They work hard to get good shots. Well, B.A., that's definitely part of their DNA. They've had the personnel to do it, and guys who are disciplined and patient. A line change here for Chicago. He hits the second from the line. And what makes Bam special is his versatility, offensively and defensively. He can do a lot more out there for you than most other guys. Pass to Caruso. Back to Carter. On the wing, Caruso puts up a three. Love grabs the miss. And so Hero will bring it up for Miami. They come into this one following the loss to Minnesota. On the road, they got owned defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. Yeah, if you allow a team to shoot such a high percentage in their own building, you're going to have a big hill to climb. Carter finds Craig. There's 31 seconds left to play in the second quarter. On the money from 12 feet away. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. 
Hero, the pass to Adebayo. Pass to Robinson. No good with a layup. Even though it wasn't a clear path, he knows that that's a shot he should make more often times than not. Free throw drops for Caruso. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Outside Richardson. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so it's the Miami Heat in command with a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. Building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. Back to the game after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. So it's Miami who's out on top at the half. They have a 13-point lead. And over to Shaq. What do you think about Miami? The difference so far has been the efficiency of their offense. The ball movement is really good. They're not afraid to use the whole shot clock if they have to. Overall, they're making every position count. And Kenny, let's get your input on the Bulls. They were one dimensional on offense. All perimeter. They didn't get anything going down low. They didn't even try to do it. Establish some paint pressures, please. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Without question, Jimmy Butler displaying his skills today. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for them. And then, of course, executing. I like how they came into this one with a game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. On the court for the Bulls. Levine is the two with DeRozan at the three. Williams and Vucevic patrol the inside, and it's White in at point guard. Now here's White. Pass to Vucevic. Puts it up from 17. And the basket is good. Vucevic has gotten his first bucket of the night. Yeah, Vuce will do this to you. He's not scared of that mid-range. He's a midi master. Jimmy Butler on the attack. And it's Butler with the jam. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Outside Levine. Pass to White. And here is Vucevic. Hits a three-pointer. Vucevic has got five points in the quarter. For a true center, Vuce is excellent in that catch and shoot. Hero with it. Guarded by Vucevic. And Vucevic with the block. This gives him an opportunity to get within ten. with a steal and here we go the heat fast break jumps up and it's Butler who slams it down what a creative slam by Butler showing off his tremendous athletic ability 
Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Pass to Williams. Six on the shot clock. Rebound by the Heat. Adebayo's got his fourth rebound in this one. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. The Heat always focused on the big prize. Coach Bolster said, quote, winning a championship can be done in a lot of different ways. The game is played on both sides of the floor with IQ and with toughness, making plays in those winning moments. It's not necessarily what everybody thinks it is. Brian? Well, he would know, Allie. Thank you. Now here's White. Ooh, excellent D there from Lowry. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D, avoided fouling, and got in perfect position to alter that shot. And the shot goes in. They have no answer defensively inside. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. A different look for Miami. Love is checked in for Adebayo. Jovic comes in for Martin. And it's Robinson in for Hero. A big group substitution here for Chicago. Andre Drummond is checked in for Vucevic. Craig comes in for Williams. Bad Caruso, screen. he's checked Can in for win. Zach Levine. And it's Carter in for White. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. Bryant, he's checked in for Butler. Lowry, the pass to Robinson. Back to Lowry. Lowry doesn't have much fear when it comes to drawing contact. All he's worried about is putting up points on the board. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. Embracing his role as a leader for this squad, Lowry recognizes the importance of this in terms of developing his teammates. Desumu, he's checked in for DeRozan. He's off on the second. The Bulls have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Lowry against Caruso. Pass to DeSumo. Yes, it's good. DeSumo's gotten his first basket of the night. For Miami, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Lowry against Carter. Here's Jovic. 43 seconds left in the third quarter here. Misses from short range. Here's Dasunmu. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Dasunmu's got his second basket on the night. And it's Lowry with the ball for the Heat.
Bryant, right side, to the inside. Robinson, that one's good. And the assist to Bryant. And the Heat lead by 13. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. Here's Desumu. Four three. Can't get it to fall. And so it's the Miami Heat in command with a 13 point lead at the end of the quarter. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Butler and Martin, the duo at forward. Josh Richardson out there with Tyler Hero. And it's Adebayo in at the five. That's the group in the game for the Heat. And it's Jimmy Butler with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Outside White. Tries it from 19. Rebound by the Heat. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Deflected! And he recovers it. Butler with the bucket. It's been a dominant night for him. Staying productive throughout. Here's White. Pass to Levine. Some solid defense from Martin. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. And Levine, throw it down! Uh-oh, Zach Levine. He's already won multiple dunk contests. Maybe another? Now here's Butler. Martin, right side, to the paint. And a bio, no good. The Bulls have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Pass to White. Butler against DeRozan. Too easy for DeRozan. Using his athleticism to beat the contact. DeRozan refuses to be held back. Last quarter of play. About two minutes in now. Butler against DeRozan. Butler passes to Richardson. And rebounded by Zach Levine. The Bulls have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. They get the rebound. Vucevic, another shot. And that's two points on the timeout, layup. Timeout. Getting physical on the glass and getting a bucket, that's what Vuce does. Now a timeout called by Miami. They're leading by nine. A minute 42 left to play in the fourth.
And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Jimmy Butler. It's almost beyond belief what he's done in this game. He's been impossible to cool off. I think just about everything he looks at. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. He's had an answer for just about everyone. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy. And it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolstra said to the team. He was clapping in the huddle, saying to his guys, loving the effort right now, keep the intensity on them. Leave no doubt in their mind that this game is ours. Guys, back to you. Thanks for that, Ali. Now here's DeRozan. Pass to White. A minute six left in the game to the left side wing. Shot clock at five. Here's DeRozan. Again, the miss by DeRozan. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Butler passes to Hero. Back to Butler. Into the lane. And a nice finish on the layup. And the Heat lead by 11. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. Here's Love. The shot comes out. Some solid defense from Williams. And not much left to play for at this point. Hey, you give it your all and let the chips fall where they may. Just wasn't their night. And it's Miami's ball. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. Now Hero. So it's the Heat winning this one easily. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. Jimmy, it has been a match made in heaven here in Miami. Does this feel like home for you yet? It does, man. I love this city. Um, I think the city loves me as well. And I want, I want a championship here. We got a long way to go, but um, it's possible. The city loves you back, Jimmy. Thanks so much. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.